In this video, we will learn about web scraping in Power Query. So we will have two parts in total. And today we will do the part one. For this, I need to show you one website, worldometers.info. And here we have different population country wise. For example, if I click China, then we can see the population of the China, right? So here we have different columns and uh, then uh, let me copy this link and if I want to see a uh, population for uh, for example India so again I need to click one by one to see different population in in different cities so here you can see we have a population in different cities as well so we are interested to fetch this information and uh, for this I need to go to the power query here first I need to get data and you have to click web because we need to get the data from the web and uh, we need to paste the link and click OK and now the power BI is extracting the data and here you can see we have uh, different data let me zoom it so here you can see in the table one we have uh, column one and table two we have date and population and then again you can see different uh, tables that are available on the website power bi has ex extracted all the information so here you can see in the table six we have city name and population so we are interested in this table uh, for this we need to click and uh, click this table and then we have to transform data so here we have data for the cities in china so different cities and their populations let's go to the advanced editor here and uh, if i um, let me show you in the in the website if I go to like India or maybe so here you can see if I mouse over on India and uh, you can see uh, this is India dash population in the in the hyperlink right so if I click USA then it's US dash population so then what we have to do is let's go to the power query in the advanced editor and here we just need to replace China for example if you want to see the population for the India so here you can see um, India dash population and then we have to click done and you will see we are getting all the cities from India and in the same way we can write a different string here like uh, us dash population then we will get the data from the us right so let's write one function here so it will be for example country name as text because it's a text information and we need as a table and then we have to write lambda so equal and greater than so this is the function right the name and uh, we, we just need to click done uh, before clicking done we just need to replace Here the the population we have to replace the the name the parameter name like the what was the parameter what was what is the name of the parameter this is country name I just need to copy and uh, then I have to because every time this thing is being changed India dash population so what I have to do is for this I need to write ampersand 
and uh, then I have to write the name of the parameter this is country name and then again hand sign and here the we need to write double count okay so this is the stuff that we need to write here and uh, so it is taking we, we are passing country name as a parameter to the to the URL right so let's click done and here you can see we are getting one country name parameter so here I have to for example if I want to get uh, data from the US so I just need to write here US dash population And then I need to click OK, invoke. So here you can see, this is the population from US. And the same like if I write here, for example, Pakistan, click OK. And here you can see the population for the different cities, Karachi, Lahore, Faisalabad, and many more. So this is how we can get data from different uh, countries. So let's do one more thing. We we just need to delete this invoke function table and uh, delete it and we need to write one blank query here to because we don't need to write uh, every time uh, different countries so we will make a table that will have different countries inside so we need to write here blank query and go to the advanced editor and here we have to um, delete this one and uh, then we have to write here for example one table hash table and uh, then we need to write type table the hash sign double quotes and uh, here you can write country name and uh, then we need to write comma curly bracket and then one more curly bracket because we need a couple of values here so here we have to write the name of the the query string so it is india dash population so i just need to copy and uh, then i need to create another So this is US population and we can create one more for example Pakistan population right so here we have created one table that contain three records India pop India population US and Pakistan and uh, then we just need to click done and uh, the name of uh, this table we can write here country list this is the name of the table and uh, what we can do now we just need to click add column and uh, here we have to invoke custom function And uh, in the custom function, we need to uh, let, let's do one 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 more thing here. This is the name of the function, right? So we have to write the name like fn country, and then we just need to click done. And uh, again to the country list, 
okay so here we have all the three values and now we need to click invoked function invoked custom function so here you can write any any name of the column for example combine data and uh, the function query this is the name of the query is fn country and then the country name uh, this is the table like right? the country name table so that's all so let's click ok and here is the uh, information is required about the data privacy click continue and ignore privacy level checks save and then we need to wait and here you can see table dot add column country list and uh, we will get one one uh, table that will have one column the column name will be country list and it will contain table information and here you can see each so this function fn country will execute for each query string right see so this function has been executed for the indian india population us population and pakistan population and fetch uh, this record city name and some other for every country uh, it it has retrieved uh, different uh, cities depending on the country right uh, we need to just need to combine data for the india us and pakistan we just need to click here and uh, you can click ok so here you can see we are getting data like uh, country name and this is the city name and this is the city population and here you can see this is india and these are the different cities in india and their population and then you we can see us and here it is the i mean different cities in us and their population in the same way in uh, pakistan right so what we have done here we have just created one one table that hold all the required data that we we need to scrap for example we we wanted to scrap data three countries pakistan us and india and uh, we we don't need to go every time to the website change the url and uh, i mean then we just need to if if we need to combine all the data in in one column like uh, country name or the population or the city name um, then we don't need to to do like uh, uh, for example here you, you can see we have different uh, merge queries so for first we need to get data from the us and then we need to get uh, data from in in the like india and then pakistan in three different tables and uh, then we have to apply merge query to to merge all the data in the single destination right so with the help of uh, custom function in power query we have combined all the stuff in one step so this is how we can use a uh, custom function to retrieve the data very quickly so this is this was the first part we will continue to enhance the web scrapping in power query in the next part so if you have any question please write in the comment box and uh, if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you